Hi guys, Linda Antwi with the Red Carpet Report here in Hollywood at the Directors Guild for the IDA Awards. We're going to talk to a bunch of documentary filmmakers and I mean these movies are must see. I mean they're up for awards so come on let's go check them out. Congratulations. Thank you. Could you tell our viewers a little bit about your documentary? Yes, well it's a documentary about Jackie Siegel, her husband David Siegel and their family and their dream of building the biggest house in America. I know about that by the way. It's a 90,000 square foot palace inspired by the Palace of Versailles and also by the top three four floors of the Paris Hotel in Las Vegas. And the story, about a year into the story, the financial, the, ec the, the economic crisis starts to affect David Siegel, the king of timeshares business. And we see the story turn into really an allegory about the overreaching of America as his business, he, he builds, he has another dream to build the tallest timeshare in the world, a building over $600 million in Las Vegas. And, and this building turns out to be the overreach that threatens their whole business and their personal fortune and becomes a very different story, which I think most Americans can relate to in an unexpected way. Right. You start thinking it's a film about the 1% and then you realize it's a film about you and me and the mistakes we all made that led to the economic crisis. That sounds amazing. Now, I saw a preview and you were walking through and you were showing people some of the things that you were working on. And how do you even start to decorate a place like that? Because you're doing the decorating. Um, I'm not even thinking about the decorating at this point right now. Um, I, I'm like actually very happy at like our home where we live, which Lauren's been there for three years with me, feels like my home and my children are born and raised there. And uh, um, But we will get to the point where we're decorating probably in about a year. Mm -hmm. um, we're finishing the outside. Um, the outside will be done in about 15 weeks because you were there um, and you know that. And. Uh, um, it's mind-boggling. I, I yeah. actually, um, I'm thinking about maybe having a, a contest of, between decorators and um, whoever's the best decorator can decorate the house or something. What would you say your style is? Is every part of the house going to have a different style? Um, unfortunately, my style has changed. Like, I don't like French so much, but that's the style of the house. Now, now it's more modern. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll put modern on the inside and French on the outside. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, how did you come to find her? I met Jackie at a party for Donatella Versace in 2007, not far from here in Beverly Hills, and she was one of her best customers at the time, and I made a photograph of her purse and her two friends' purses that ended up in the Time Magazine Photos of the Year. What purse was it? It was a Versace yeah, purse. of course. And it was and illustrating the high life. Yeah, and it was They're illustrating the new Gilded Age of 2007. And then what happened, so Jackie, even when we first met, was kind of representing the excess and the high life. Right. And then I think the unexpected part, and both Jackie and David come from humble origins, are kind of rags to riches stories. And in that way, I think we can relate to them when they fall on hard times. And I think it's also Jackie's personality. She has this very down to earth. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm just a normal person. Like. Like I don't make my like maids um, dress like in uniforms. <laughs> they, they, when I did, that's pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, when, when when I bought like I spent like four or five thousand dollars on uniforms for them. They were so nice that they saved their uniforms for their day off. <laughs> what I like about this story is that because it's been such hard economic times for everyone, you can really see that you can still bounce back. Well, I think what we see at the end of the film is it is a morality tale. David gives up this building, which is the most important building of his career, his legacy, and he loses his personal fortune with it. So I think the bounce back is a moral one and a life, life one, and I think that's, that's kind of the moral of the story. And paying off the banks. And now what they're doing, now what they're doing is they're using the profits from the company without Las Vegas, now that it's on solid operational ground, to pay back their debt. So it's a more responsible lesson, and I think that's one we've all learned the hard way. And, and, Absolutely. And my husband's, my husband's um, moral of the story from the movie is everybody, in whatever caliber you're in, live within your means. Exactly. Is the moral Absolutely. of the story. Exactly, and that's what he speaks at the end. If I can, Absolutely. If I, if I, we all got sucked into this cycle. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching. For more interviews, make sure that you like and subscribe. I mean, really, like this one.